Tsumoi Group and, and the 2015 Nobel Peace Prize Laureate, Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet, Melissa Jordamar. Please welcome her. Greetings and thank you, President Daniel Ops of AFS and our cultural programs for the opportunity to be part of this important event. It's indeed my privilege and pleasure to be addressing you in my capacity of a Nobel Peace Prize laureate as a business leader and a Tunisian citizen committed to empowering young men and women everywhere and enabling them to address the environmental, political, economic, and social challenges facing our world today. These challenges, such as underdevelopment, poverty, exclusion, employment, gender inequalities, ignorance, social tensions, conflicts, pandemics, and environmental degradation are both local and global and serve as daily reminders of the prominence of the issues related to mutual understanding, tolerance, education, and peace, and of the extent to which they are intertwined. In such an endeavor, not in this realization that we are all in this together, bound by a common destiny, we are living in the right direction when we realize that we share the same yearning for freedom, equality, and the pursuit of better life, and we come to grips with the facts that some of our local concerns stem from problems we can only address together. And this is where the philosophy and exchange programs practiced by the AFS network acquire a crucial importance. By being anchored around the values of education, careers, and movements, AFS programs create opportunities for young people to meet and engage in action which consecrate these values and contribute to achieving a breakthrough for a brighter future. My experience as Deputy Commissioner for Strategic Partnerships from the Department of Youth and Community Development, joining us on behalf of the New York City Mayor Eric Adams and Commissioner Keith Howard. I invite you to first make your remarks and then proceed with the boarding of the board of to Mr. John Olson. Sir. I was outside online, and the similar people, and just getting inspired. All that positive energy you were bringing, interacting with each other, knowing why you were here, and now I, I, I walked up to the panel, and I looked out, and I'm, you guys don't see yourselves, and how powerful you are, Woo! and how much energy you bring. Commissioner Keith Howard, I want to welcome all of you to our great city, New York City, and say happy International Youth Day. Woo! It is a pleasure and an honor to be here amongst all of you from so many different parts of the world. You have shown great leadership, passion, commitment, and alignment for making positive change in your spaces and the world around you. We congratulate you for that commitment and for your journey that got you here. In all of the work that we do across New York City, our programs and services for our children and young adults are all designed to provide safe environments that support academic achievement, enhance social skills, and cultivate youth leadership and civic engagement. As a government agency funding nonprofits across the city to provide these services, we are sure to give our funding partners the resources to connect to neighborhoods and provide opportunities that matter. I am proud to let you know about one of these examples that connects back to the sustainable development goal. Through the mayor's vision and commitment, this summer we have 100,000 young adults ages 14 to 24 working in our city youth employment program. Thank 
Congress, Rich would never be enjoying opportunities. His keynote speakers and panels expose tomorrow's pioneers to today's leaders as they discuss current solutions. Youth leaders can choose from a variety of theme program tracks, including international affairs, climate entrepreneurship, and more. Where we provide our youth with the opportunities to ignite their imaginations and revolutionize our world for the better, we know they work hard and seize them. And this session will further demonstrate that truth. On this occasion, I am proud to commend AFS Youth Assembly and all those involved for their commitment to equity, justice, and peace. Now, therefore, I, Eric Adams, Mayor of the City of New York, do hereby proclaim Friday, August 11, 2023, in the City of New York as AFS Youth Assembly Day. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here tonight and happy International Youth Day. 